You are a fan of uh, LTN, the nice logistic train network add-on in or mod in uh, Factorio. Well, I think you are right here because I have a solution to actually get rid of LTN and just have it with a with a base game of Factorio itself. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. I want to show you this real quick. The mod is kind of obsolete, let's say, because the the main feature of it, when I uh, put it right to a nutshell, is that you know you you have some automatic dispatching and depending on what is needed in your requesters um, will be um, issued via trains to um, get picked up by the providers and I have one example that works pretty good here um, that's I, I want to show you today okay um, before we go into the uh, details I want to show it shortly in action um, for this I need to make one cable change here on this that so now um, the train is, is issued because um, you know the former uh, chests were full enough so the train now picks up the load um, we'll wait until it's um, full and then drive through the unload uh, this is all happening through the new interrupt system um, the solution makes use of it and it's, it's getting better <laughs> Because, uh, as you can see, it actually uses a radar network, which I didn't even know is working um, to, to uh, not even make it necessary to draw all the cables through the, through the whole uh, map. So, um, this behavior you, I think, know already from the LTN mod, you know, stuff will get loaded until it's full, drive forward. Um, the, the introduction of the new interrupt system made it possible in some combinations to um, yeah, to use variables instead of fixed configuration. So this was what's uh, making the system so great um, is that it actually is flexible and as far as I know um, it is possible to distinguish, uh, you should dis still distinguish or differentiate between a solid and fluid system but you can maybe only have two train groups that are whether solid or fluid reserved. So I'm not um, with um, fluids yet because I, I really try to figure out um, a solution for my little problem here before I actually jump in further to the game. Um, so my base is really not advanced right now. Anyways, um, what is working is, is actually this. And I want to show you now the details uh, to set it up correctly and maybe uh, to give you some tips about the, the issues I was stumbling upon. So first, you really want to make sure that um, your um, train locations um, are precisely in a format like um, like this so this is an example you could make a different use of it but I like to use this icon then you have a white space very important and then you say just load or whatever and you have the same principle with the unload stations okay so that's very important um, this should be a specific name so that's my yeah also could name it provider but anyways that's my provider station here and you won't then see the unload station the same principle this white space unload okay so that's a first the new interrupt system actually has quite a great thing and this is um, now the parameters and there are a couple of different parameters um, um, for this um, initial setup we only need this new signal parameter um, there's a cargo parameter that we do not make use of in this scenario so be sure to to hit this um, little signal parameter here and um, you don't need to screenshot this now I just want to quickly give you an, uh, an overview just follow the link mentioned and um, you will be um, good to go and uh, the description there is in English so it's maybe easier for you to read um, just want to mention again the white space that we were setting up earlier you need to have it reflected here this is very important because this is, is a wild card and will be um, it will be exchanged by for example the the coal symbol right so um, this will be read from the system so it will actually you know when it when it's working well um, there will be a coal symbol then in the end and um, so it will be exchanged and um, I just want to say this little white space um, if you put it to the to the stations you need to always remind yourself when you set up um, this again repeat it here again um, to to be 100% reflected but just exchange the signal parameter um, symbol and everything will be alright that's actually it let's be quick about it and jump to the next phase 
let's start with the provider first. Um, when you are um, setting the blueprint up, it will ask you a, cup of, a couple of, of uh, inputs. And let's uh, quickly dive um, through this as an example. So you can override this when you make a uh, had a problem with some setup or setting. Um, you you just um, try to you know <laughs> fit the the right template, the right um, location. And now you're getting asked of just you know creating it again. Um, if you know what you're doing, you could also go into the um, to the different combinators into the calculators. Um, and, and have that issued uh, manually too. But um, this way it's maybe easier. So I am having coal here. So I'm definitely setting up a, a cargo item coal, of course. The train limit, um, I, I, I don't know so much about your um, maybe train limits. I, I would suggest actually to start with one and um, go further down the road as you have a bigger scale of, um, of a train system and maybe your your ways are longer or i don't know so um for my little um first uh, wave of, of of train network here i definitely be be okay with one um but again um this might change now this is an important trick here um or an important field that i mis misconfigured in the beginning i thought my train length is including the um the locomotives but um, this is not the case. The train length is just about the uh, containers, the, the wagons, right? That are in between of your locomotives or your one locomotive. So um, meaning in my case, it's three. I'm driving a, a two, three system, as you saw maybe. And um, the wagon capacity, I think it is standard 40 items um, because there's just one kind of wagon yet. Um, so that's it. Um, this is a parametric uh, setup. I mean, it's it's making the whole thing even more comfortable, right? So um, that's really great. Let's go to the requester. And we kind of, oops, uh, we do the same again. <coughs> Fit the template and hit left mouse button. So again, setting up accordingly, train limit again one, train length is three, and the rest I don't need to change. And that's it, both um, save. Yeah, in the template, there's always this little thing here. You just delete again. And um, yeah, I think um, this is almost it. Let's quickly jump to the um, to the depot. Here we are. And this is really fast forward. Just a couple of things. First, um, you want to see that this is activated, uh, sent to train or whatever it is in English. Um, it needs to be activated because um, by this, it receives the data from the radar network and to receive it um, you need to put a radar to your depot and just link it with a cable with a red cable uh, by the way a red cable is now found over here <laughs> cannot be built just a little tip because i was actually looking for okay where's the bloody where's the bloody cable how can i connect it because i i came from uh, an older version yeah, okay. So, and that's it. And um, you link all these depot stations together. If you do it like me, you have it um, all named the same. <coughs> and it will group them up and um, you set the, the, oh yeah, the um, train limit accordingly. And um, this depot will be full with the six trains. So I can have various depots all over the map, it's all having the same name. Um, uh, but I think for growth, it makes sense at some point to. Um, to give depots a specific location and uh, yeah, but but that's uh, maybe a mid to late game uh, problem. We don't need to discuss right now. And I think this is all um, with these um, setup. You should be all good to go to get the best experience regarding trains. So have fun, guys! I I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial here. Um, again, all kudos goes to this Reddit guy. Um, link below. Please give him some love. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs if you did, or maybe be super crazy, give me a subscribe, but that's for you to decide. Okay, till the next time, thank you for watching. Bye bye.